Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're down here in Sarasota, Florida, and what we're doing is we are installing a, a footer tile, a yard drain, perforated pipe. We're going to use the, the uh, per peanut pipe, the styrofoam, and some gravel, and a sump pump, and we're going to discharge that all the way to the street. Let me show you the problem. It's actually raining, so you can kind of see what's going on. If you look at this backyard, you, you'll notice that everything's graded right over here towards the porch lanai. They call this a lanai here in Florida. And so what we're going to do, what happens of course is water floods, it floods up through their porch and almost right into their house. So we're going to start right over here in the corner and we're going to put the uh, gravel perforated pipe, easy flow, dig all the way around following this contour of their patio. We'll hook up these downspout drains as well come clear over to here. Here we'll put a sump pump and we're going to lift that water up and then we're going to send it all the way around the house and out to the street. So you can kind of see it's a long, a long ways but we're going to put a half horsepower pump in here and it's easily going to pump it right out there to the street. We'll put a pop-up right out there. Kind of tough job to do. You can see all the bamboo here but something the homeowner could could do themselves and you know you'll save yourself three four thousand you know if you do this yourself and again it's, it's just labor uh, materials a little bit costly but not that bad so let's go ahead and get started so again fairly large job if you break it down into sections in other words I'm gonna dig out here in the front dig the discharge line it's gonna run all the way back through this bamboo and around the side of the house to the sump pit and another guy or yourself if you're doing it yourself another section will be to put the sump pit in and we've got Dan over here digging the sump pit he's almost done there it's really a simple job here in the sand but dig the sump pit another guy is going to dig the footer tiles as they run around we'll bring that into the sump pit plumb that and then discharge right out to the street so do your prep work first in other words you can see Chuck pulling back the gravel just getting that back because we want to put that back on the top even though we're going to put some of our gravel in there this is a a uh, different stone to make it you know decorative put that back we'll hook up these downspouts this soil is going to be hauled around to the back back in the back someplace and same thing on this side. You can see I started to pull some of this pea gravel back. There's not much here, but pull it back. Do your prep work first, and then you can easily trench right down through there. So out here at the street where the discharge is, remember this line's only about six inches deep, so it's pretty easy for you to do this yourself. Always work backwards through your yard. It's easier to, to, dig, to dig it out and then come back, scrape it up, set it off to the side. Let's take a look. So dig yourself a trench, you know, eight, ten feet, and then come back through, use your body weight, and clean it out. It goes really quick. Here at the end of my line is where I'll put the pop-up. And that's just allowing that water to escape once the pump kicks on and brings it out here. It lifts up the emitter and flows on out into the curb. So you can see in just a shoot, in just a few short minutes, already 20, 25 feet, it only takes a minute to go, you know, a shovel deep. So let's go back in the back and see what the guys are doing back there. So all the excess soil here is actually going to get removed. And what we do is, if you've got a place in your yard, of course that's the best place for it. Remember, sand is heavier than you think, especially when it starts getting wet. So if you fill it up too much, it's going to be pretty heavy. We're going to go ahead and bring that barrel around. We've got hey, that's good for Danny. That's good. Bring that barrel around here to the side. 
And what you want to do is find a good spot that you can dump that easily and then grade it out when you're all done. So right up here by this clean out, you can see this clean out right here. We'll go ahead and put our first pile right over here and then we'll just keep staggering them so that we can easily grade this out. Keep it all in one pile, make it easier when you come back to grade it out. You can see we've got our sump pit already dug out and then we're making the trench for the footer pipe. Really it's not a footer pipe because this is not really a footer drain but we're going to call it that. This is our gravel perforated pipe and or the easy flow. It comes right around, we'll hook up that downspout. And there was an old uh, perforated pipe in here, we pulled that out. But we'll just continue right around the side, right up to the corner of the lanai, and put in our system. And then as it rains, all this water, you know, it's coming down here, it's gonna drop right into our system, right through the gravel, right through the styrofoam. We're also putting a catch basin here. See that curve? And we'll go around the other side of the curve and put another catch basin. So all the surface water just drops directly into the system over to the sump pit. Sump pump lifts it up and sends it out to the street. Okay, so we've got the front yard discharge section done. And again, when you're digging by yourself, I don't know if you can see the tree roots from the bamboo. They're, it's not that they're thick, but they're matted. So you really need a sharp shovel just to cut along the sides of your trench and then you can easily come back and clear it out. Next, we're gonna go around here to the back, see how far these guys are on their part of the installation. We still need to trench down through here. This is a discharge side coming to the sump pit and sump pump. Yeah, they're still wheeling soil, so looking good though. Sump pump will be right here. We'll come up out of there with inch and a half and then switch to two inch, come around the side of the house there, and of course join up with my trench leading to the pop-up. And you can see they started a trench here, and they've already got a little bit of it done here. We have to move this soil around and get it out of the way because we're replacing that soil with our uh, peanut pipe, we call it, easy flow, and gravel perforated. And we'll just follow the contour of the deck. Okay, so right we're ready to set in our sump basin. And I've already cut off the nipple here for the inlet line, which is this trench right here. That brings all the water from around you know, the side of the lanai and the downspouts and catch basins into the sump pit. I also went ahead and perforated around the bottom edge and a few holes on the bottom as well because we don't want this to float up during a heavy rain. So let's set this down in the trench, in the basin, the pit. <laughs> Secure that. Next, we're going to drill a hole, a two inch hole. We're using a two inch hole saw. That's the exact outer diameter of the inch and a half pipe that comes from the sump pump. So I'll trench a little hole, a little line here so that we can continue all around okay, the side. Okay, so of the house. next we're going to go ahead and drill a, the outlet for the inch and a half discharge. <laughs> Real simple. Now we've got a nice two inch hole for our inch and a half pipe, which will come down this trench and we'll trench this here in just a second. We've, these guys are still running barrels through here. So we'll go around the side, but you can see they're coming right along. There was an old perforated pipe here, really didn't go anywhere. It just went into the ground, but yeah, we're looking real good. Make sure that when you dig um, for the easy flow drain, that you're a shovel wide because it's eight inch wide with the peanuts and everything. So it's gotta be wide enough to get down into it. And it's coming right along. It only has to be a shovel deep. We're not too concerned about fall or grade. It's pretty much running level. And as water floods up into your system, it'll have fall and begin to flow. So we're ready to install the sump pump and we're using a Liberty uh, 260, 287, this is a half horsepower pump, um, pumps about 80 gallons a minute really quick, but we got to put the check valve on here first. Remember that your check valve only allows water to flow one direction. So we set that on there. Let's go ahead and set that pump down in the pit. Okay, so we're ready to hook up our beginning of our discharge. 
Remember, we've got a no hub on here, so we've already tightened up these clamps to hold that all tight. Check valve allows water to flow one direction. We'll start by gluing up the 90. Good amount of glue around there. Then we slide the 90 on there, twist and hold. And if we look through here, we should see that it lines up perfectly with our discharge. So we're able to slide this inch and a half directly through there. And then we'll cut that and change it to two inch just outside the sump pit. So let's go ahead and get a good amount of glue on here. And then we just slide it right through. Need my other hand for a second. So we've got our first piece of the inch and a half discharge. You can see it's gonna go on out down through the trench. Everything's plumbed and ready to go here. Now we just need to finish this footer, the French drain around, hook it up, and we're almost done. Yep, so we've got our discharge line installed, running all the way around and out to the front. You can see it here. Looking real good, we're getting ready to cover that up. And nice two inch pipe. Then I went ahead and put some three inch on it here at the end and out here at this, you know, by the curb, we're gonna put a pop-up. And the reason I'm setting it back here is because I want some of that water to disperse into the soil to help stop some of that erosion. So out here at the curb, you can see right here's the curb, we're gonna use a pop-up. And they actually make this with a three inch fitting and this is thin wall PVC, so is this. This is three inch thin wall PVC. It's available at Lowe's, not Home Depot. And all it does is slide directly onto the end, wiggle it in place. I usually do not glue this because there's so much sand, dirt, it just holds it in place. Um, and also if you need to come back and adjust it, it's a lot easier just to leave it loose. Um, it's going to be super tight once we put the soil around there. Remember the way this works is, as that sump pump kicks on in the very, very back, water comes down the line, comes all the way out, and it lifts up this little emitter right here. If I can get my fingernail under there, sorry. <laughs> lifts up that emitter and just floods across the yard. And then this is downhill right out to the curb. A quick note about pop-up emitters. You know, they work really good, but I would much prefer to bring that line to daylight. In other words, have an open discharge here at the curb and or cut the curb and put a V in it. This does work good and it works best because it's got pressure behind that pump and the pump's going to push that water down the line much easier than gravity. In fact, some pumps work probably in my opinion twice as good as gravity depending on if you get a good pump. You know, a good pump like we're putting in there, that Liberty uh, half horsepower, 80 gallons a minute, that's nearly three of those trash cans over there per minute so it's quite quick and <clears throat> I would highly recommend sump pumps over gravity especially if you don't have gravity to send it from your backyard so now we're adding the gravel gravel is basically just holding down you see how I step on this and it goes down it's just holding down our peanut pipe um, we just need to get some weight on the top of it and then we'll throw some of the river rock that's out here to bring that like a finished grade um, but yeah we've got it all installed looking really good a couple of catch basins we just like to use round six by six catch basins we hooked up the downspout comes in there line begins over there at the corner a little bit more gravel there comes around looking real good and we're almost done we've already covered the discharge so all we need to do now is finish covering all this up. A little bit of touch up. Remember all that water comes into the sump pit. The sump pump lifts it up. And you can see inch and a half changes to two inch and runs all the way around to the front. So now we're just finishing up, putting in, uh, blowing off that little bit of footer where there's some excess gravel. But you can kind of see how the finished product looks. And again, if you do this yourself, it's a lot of labor, but you could definitely do this in a day.
Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.